What is up, everybody? Sysadmin Sean here, and today I wanted to first give a big thank you to everybody um, for, again, watching uh, the channel as you do, and subscribing, and leaving comments, and asking questions. It means a lot. I know that I took a couple of weeks off, but that was uh, pretty nice to actually do for once, and I was pretty thrilled to uh, kind of just take a break and sort of recharge my batteries as far as YouTube's concerned. Um, but all that aside, I do have some news kind of about my real work environment and some decisions we made there, though I can't give a lot of details on it. I can give some. Um, we have officially decided to migrate to Proxmox off of VMware after the Broadcom acquisition. A lot of this was because we just couldn't justify the budget requirement that it was going to take. Now, to be fair, their prices for us were actually really good, but they had some different stipulations, which I don't know if I can really get into, that basically made it a little bit more restrictive for us, and we didn't feel like we were in a good enough spot to justify that kind of purchase. We have actually gotten to the point where our on-prem infrastructure is closer to barely 100 servers, give or take, um, one vCenter was really ever all it needed and we didn't really have a lot of multi-sites. We weren't running, you know, a giant national global infrastructure that needed multi-sites all over the place. And we found that a lot of our stuff uh, could be containerized or run in Azure pretty cheap because we could run it burstable as opposed to really needing to be run full time. Uh, so we decided to utilize the money that we would be saving from not purchasing Broadcom into kind of trying out some new technologies, trying out stuff like Portainer, um, Proxmox with support. We'll be using a company called iSystems for support tickets and things like that. They're a US vendor for that kind of thing. And we've just kind of been shrinking and shrinking our on-prem footprint because we just don't run a lot of in-house stuff. Now, if you do run a lot of stuff in-house, I completely understand wanting to stay with VMware or finding an adequate solution that meets more of the VMware um, Polarity? Equality? I'm, you know, equal footing. Having all the features that you liked in VMware, having them in another product. And I think there are definitely some solutions that meet that. I think Proxmox can meet most of those, but definitely not all of them. And for some people, it really just depends on what kind of environment they've got. Um, but that's, that's that done. So we're in that deployment, planning, management stage, things like that. Now, we do also run a Horizon VDI environment. And Omnissa has taken that over and we've met with Omnissa a few times and they're really great to work with. Um, they are super helpful. They have walked us through a whole lot of what's going to be changing in Horizon in the future. I'm not sure what I can actually talk about, but there are changes coming to Horizon um, that sound pretty good to me. So if that is definitely a solution you think you want to stick with, I highly recommend you reach out to your Omnissa reps and talk to them about what kind of options are coming down the road, what the roadmap looks like, and how that's going to affect prices and whatnot going forward. So that's really cool. Uh, all that to say that there will definitely be more Proxmox guides and more kind of information about Proxmox on this channel, since that will be what my real job will require me to work in more. Um, but it also means that we will probably be adding more stuff on things like containers, which I didn't think I would ever really be working in. Uh, probably mostly Docker type things. Um, we may get ourselves all the way up to needing Kubernetes, but I don't think we're going to be that, that big in our container space. I think our container space is going to be pretty, pretty standard. Um, I did have a request to do some videos on security and monitoring of servers and things of that nature. So I'll do some basic stuff. I'm not a security person by... By trade, I do know some security folks and I can ask them kind of what topics they think I might cover, but we'll start with the basics and we'll go from there. Uh, we'll, we'll start basically from your internet all the way down into your servers, down into to your connections for your clients and things like that. We'll do some of the basics for each one of those things. And I will bring up different topics that you can look into for advanced security features and logging and analytics and, and information like that. Um, and lastly, I just want to talk about, we have stickers now. I uh, decided to make a sticker. I've got a couple more designs coming up. If you want to support the channel in some way other than just throwing money at me, which I totally get, um, and, but you like stickers, go ahead and grab one. I love stickers. I put them all over my stupid ThinkPads, uh, and I like ThinkPads, so I have a lot of ThinkPads with a lot of stickers. <laughs> so if you want those, check them out. They're on the channel. Um, but that's it for this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.